Okay, Luke, let's start with the weekend, the result here at the Hive. You know, mm -hmm. how are the lads feeling off the back of that? Well, obviously it was a you know, disappointing result when, when you consider that we lost, but watching the game and you know, speaking to everyone, we actually played really well. Um, it's what, since I've been here, it's one of the best performances in terms, in terms of obviously the style of football that we played um, and how, how we went about our business. Um, and uh, yeah, we were pretty beaten up about the about the loss because you know people pick up the newspaper and it's obviously it says one nil, but I don't think that scoreline reflected reflected the game at all. And you know we were unfortunate to come out with nothing after that. It certainly didn't tell the whole story, did it? Because no. it was the injection of youth, there was a certain energy about the game, and really we were in control for a lot of it. Yeah, I thought for me did well on his on his start, and you know obviously he's deserved that. He's he's played really well, and then I thought Western and Ruben. Um, you know, combine really well in centre and midfield as well, and like you know, John's always a handful up top as well, isn't he? So, but uh, you know, and uh, Harry was obviously backing at right back. Um, you know, who I think a lot of as a player. So uh, yeah, I think there was just a really nice balance to the team, and obviously we we played some really nice, really nice football. At half time, when there was potentially chances where we could have taken the lead, what kind of things was the, was the gaffer saying to you guys to to keep you on point? It's just well, obviously, I mean, I was out warming up at half time, but you know, through the through the half, it's just a case of, you know, him getting into the players and encouraging. That's all it was because we were doing the right things, and obviously, that he just wants more of that, you know. So it's just encouragement and obviously motivation to keep keep believing and obviously keep the same message. You know, you don't want to start panicking. You don't want to start oh just kick it, just kick it. You know, you got to believe in what you're doing, and and that was obviously the message. First session back in today since uh, since that defeat here, so. What kind of work did you do today? Today it was just we had Monday off as well. Um, obviously, with two games coming up, so we got a um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday week in. Um, so it's going to be a bit unusual. So I think today today was just more about obviously enjoyment, get the lads back in after a you know a nice sunny weekend, and obviously the disappointment of the loss, and just get our, you know get smiling, get get a touch on the ball, and obviously there were some fun games, and as you said, it looked quite enjoyable, and it and it was so that was it was a good good session. So those kind of relaxed sessions where, like you said, you boys can just get in, have a laugh, why are they so important at this stage of the season? It just, it, again, it's, it's one of those things that you kind of just go, you know, you just breathe a little. You know, it's kind of like, yeah, we know the pressure's there, you know, right, we're on the back, at the back of a bad result. Um, well, not a bad result, but obviously a disappointing, disappointing result. And, you know, if, you, if the manager was to come in and start kind of pointing fingers and players start pointing fingers, then... You know that pressure builds, and you know training's not fun. You know, fun place to come. You know, we all want to turn up to work. You want to look forward to it. You know, and obviously with sessions like that, you know that's what we do. For anyone watching the session today, there certainly isn't anything wrong with the team spirit, is there? Oh no, no, we've got we've got a great balance. You know, in and around the changing room, um, the mix of youth and experience, and obviously the players like myself that came in in January have been able to just fit in because of how how well the you know the team is. Uh, all together so yeah you, I don't think I, I haven't been part of many better teams in terms of you know just that team team uh, team bond if you like let's look ahead to the weekend there's a long trip down to Exeter on, uh, on Good Friday yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how are we feeling about that game well obviously I think we're more more excited than anything because you know we just lost 1-0 so it's, it's, a, it's a chance to then go and put it put it right um, obviously on the back of that defeat and, and results as the gaffer said you know the pressure's on other teams, you know, we we just got to build and obviously look forward to kind of like put some points together, and, you know, and and keep keep pushing on. Um, so we started well this week with the training session, so let's hope we obviously Wednesday, Thursday is the same, and then we can look forward to the game, do things right over the weekend, and then obviously another game on the, on the Monday. Like I said, it's two games, isn't it, in the space of what, four days there, mm -hmm. so how tricky is that for a player to prepare for? I think it's more mental than anything. Um, you know, if you were to play a Saturday Tuesday game, there's nothing, nothing really different. Well, it isn't different, but it's just the case of the fact that it's over the weekend. We're going to be in on a Saturday Sunday. You're obviously your body clock. Everything. We're going to be waking up early on the Friday to journey, get back, recovery session for Saturday. So, for me, it's just it's more of a mental, you know, a mental thing and, and getting ready for the weekend. Give us a little insight about what it's like on that team bus. You know, a lot of fans never see that environment. So, what kind of what kind of things go on on that? Is it a just fun and, yeah, it's just fun and games. Um, well, everyone, with any football team, everyone's kind of got their seat. You know, everyone's got their little place that they, you know, he likes being near the window. He likes being near the kitchen. You know, he's always up and down kind of thing. So, you know, and there's a player who wants to sit at the back. So, 
you know, everyone's kind of got their little clicky groups that everyone's kind of in. And then some people just like to obviously put their headphones on, some people take the laptop for a film. Um, and sometimes uh, there's always a table with cards at the back of the bus, obviously, just getting a few games in. So, yeah, it just depends, really. Um, but then, obviously, before, when we get close to the stadium, then it's obviously, you know, time to start mentally preparing and just headphones on, everything goes away, and it's time to just uh, focus on the game. Yeah, because it's important, isn't it? On a long trip like that, there's a moment where you have to switch on, and then it is, like, game mode, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're going to be on the bus for seven, half seven. You don't want to start thinking about the game then. You know, you want to be able to just relax, listen to some music, have a little bit of food and chat to your friends. An hour before the game, you know, two hours before the game. But everyone's got a different, obviously, you know, way of doing it. But, you know, everyone everyone starts focusing on the game an hour or so before. How's it been for you, Luke, since you've come? You know, you're relatively new to Barnet, so how have you, how have you found the club? Um, well, I mean, the lads, as I said, the, you know, the team spirit and the team bond around here is, is unbelievable. The mix of youth and uh, experience has been great. You know, and it's kind of the the old lads don't let you know that they're older. If that makes sense, you know, it's still a close knit group, and everyone's uh, everyone's just together in what we've been doing. And you know, since I arrived, especially um, results haven't been as amazing, you know, as we'd want. And obviously, you know, we've we've reflected on that and, and spoken about those things. Uh, but like you say, even now, there's still that great team spirit. You know, so I can't be more grateful for the guys for making it easy because. Moving to a different club in January is a difficult period. Obviously, I had to move house, you know, and there was that crazy period of sleeping in a house with nothing in it, you know, not knowing anyone. And, yeah, the lads have made it an easy transition for me. What do you see for yourself um, to the end of the season? There's five games left, so how do you see it playing out for like you personally? Personally, I just want to get as many minutes under my belt as I can. Um, and, obviously, you know, keep impressing, you know, the gaffer. Um, and people who are watching, I think I've personally, I think it's fair to say that I've got, a, I've still got people that I need to, um, not change their opinion of me, but um, put a good, good word in, kind of thing. Um, I don't think I've played my best football since I've been here, and that's me being truthfully honest. Um, so I've got, I still think I've got a lot to prove at, at Barnet Football Club. What kind of things do you think specifically? What kind of areas do you think you'll be looking to, to step up in your game? Um, so I just think, all in all, I, w I would never, I mean, my, my work rate and uh, my will and my desire and kind of working for the team's never never in doubt. Even if I'm having a bad game, I'll, st I'll still work hard for the team. So it, it's just a case of obviously doing a little bit. I think when I first came, I felt a bit of pressure, you know, maybe, I, I, you know, and there was a case of forcing things and overdoing things and not keeping it simple. Um, and then sooner or later I found myself out of the team and then it was playing catch up kind of so I think I've just got to kind of embrace it a little bit more and uh, be a little bit more positive when I'm, when I'm on the ball um, and obviously I mean self belief's not a problem but just have a little bit more be a little bit more selfish when, you know, when I'm out there and kind of you know, prove a point When it comes to the fans here how have you found the fans since you joined us? Well, they're always, they always seem to be lingering in and around, even on training days, which is always, you know, always great to see, um, you know, and if it's a case of signing an autograph or having five minutes chat, you know, I'm, I'm always willing to do that because, like you said, you know, they're the heartbeat of any football club, so, um, but yeah, especially, um, I've noticed, like, the away, so when we are away, you know, even when we go to Blackpool, you know, I remember that, you know, very clearly because the support was magnificent when we went to Blackpool, so, obviously, it's a big thank, thank you to, to all the fans who make the effort.